Hello and welcome to Zero Punky Hockey with Let's Play Fallout you know 3, rules. episode 20, part 2. The rules this are one. stupid. You're a mungo now. A you gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer? Bye, Sticky. Yeah. Bye, Sticky. Don't just stand so, sis, there. Made Get any out any of good here jokes already. Today? Not if I could help it. Made any good trades today? Nothing much. One of the widow so. shits had a rock. Zip huh. said, whoop dirty. Wow! What luck! Huh? I'm sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the mungos, I mean where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Um, looks to me like you want someone to escort you to Big Town. Nah, I'm a grown-up now. I can handle myself. There's no reason to waste your time with the kiddies at Little Lamplight. They'll steal your caps when you aren't looking. Will they? So let's go to Big Town. I can show you the way. Fine, I'll take you to Big Town, but first I need to visit Little Lamplight. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight anymore. Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. But he barely even knows what is and isn't dirty in the first place, see? Knock, knock. That's his spirit. Knock, knock. Zip was running around, checking every rock he found Princess. all day. Well, hey, Great Mayor. Stuff. Talk to you later, About Vault 87. Later. What now, Mungo? Yeah, I really need to get to Vault 87. It's not safe, even f So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That works? That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll see you around, McCready. Just fucking go, okay? Later. Later. All right, well, before we head in any deeper, let's go ahead and uh, escort this poor bastard. You want to go to Big Town? Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Of course. So what's with the party hat? Oh, I forgot I had that on. It was for my birthday. Here, you take it. I don't want it anymore. Okay. Yeah, Big Town, I've been there before. You have? I mean, of course you have. It's an awesome place. Well, enough talking. Let's get a move on. You are taking me to Big Town, right? Yeah, all right. Let's go to Big Town. All right. Yeah. Big Town, here we come. Let's go. Are we there yet? Are you serious? We haven't even left Lamplight Caverns, and you're already asking, are we there yet? Well, we could just fast travel there, but that wouldn't be nearly as much fun. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. I ain't sure where I'm going. <laughs> I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Okay. Once upon a time, there was this robot. Uh-huh. His name was Joking Joe. And he went all around making everyone laugh really hard at all his funny jokes. That's nice. And one day, a spaceship from outer space landed right in front of him, and a big green alien jumped out and started eating people. Uh-huh. And what did our hero do, you wonder? He came up with the most cleverest of clever plans, and it worked. And that was um, where'd you go? You coming? Too much of a pussy to jump off a little ledge there. Seriously, where'd you go? Man, he goes and gets himself killed.
Eh, screw it. If you want to hear more of what he does, look up uh, Fallout 3, Annoying Man. Uh, I personally like Chuck Norris meets the Annoying Man. That one's fucking hilarious. I might even put a link to it in uh, the description. So, let's get his ass to Big Town and... There it is! We're almost there! Come on! Yippee! Uh-huh. I was starting to think that Big Town wasn't a very good place to live. But now I think we can do it! Thanks to you! Uh-huh. I have to go now. Remember, if you ever need a sidekick, I'm your man! Never. Yeah, his stories just get dumber and dumber and dumber as you go along. And really, really repetitive. But, you know, it's entertaining at least. So yeah, I, I escorted him because I'm a nice guy. And lucky for you people, he wandered off. Because I really was going to walk the entire way there. Oh well. So, let's explore a little lamplight. Light. Uh, sure, let's go here. Essentials. The little lamplight office building. Okay. Anybody home? Hey. Hi. Whoa. I've never seen a Mungo so close. Mm. Are you a raider? Or a slaver? Or a mutant? Cause if you are, I'm supposed to go hot. Cause I'm too young to use a gun yet. I'm not any of those. I'm a vault dweller. At least I was when I was your age. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody lives down there now because it was full of monsters. Mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. Uh oh. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. Nice logic. So why do they call you Bumble? It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. <laughs> Lucy says, I still got a lot of growing to do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, bye-bye, Bumble. Bye-bye, Vault Dweller. Anyone else in here? Journal of Carrie Delaney. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. My name is Carrie Delaney. I teach fourth grade at the Early Dawn Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, October 23rd, 2077, half the school went on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns. We were packing up to leave when... when everything went crazy. The cave started shaking, the lights went out, the kids started screaming, my God! Mr. Pollock went outside to see what was going on. When he came back in, he told us what he saw. Clouds. Mushroom clouds. It's finally happened. The end of the world. Huh. Yeah, I've like I said, I've never listened to this before, so this is new to me too. We're all okay. If you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids okay. Alive, anyway. But I don't know what the hell we're going to do. It's been four days. Claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back. Then Mr. Cobb went out to look for her and he never came back. So now there's only me, two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. And all these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. We can't stay in here forever. Can we? That was totally the same voice actress as Red and Moira. Okay, um, we'll talk to Lucy in the next one. This has been your Funky Honky. Stay tuned for part three, and I hope you will see me next time.